I'm Dave Pavlich, and this is Face to Face. Fight fans, welcome to a very special edition of Face to Face as we talk Maximum Fighting Championship. I'm your host, Dave Pavlich, and today I'm joined by Anthony Burchak and Tito Jones, who will face off in hours to come for the World Bantamweight Championship at the Edmonton Shaw Conference Center. Guys, a lot of people, they didn't believe that you guys could be the main event of this card, being the 135 pounders. You know, uh, I think my performance, just based off of MFC 37, uh, sold it in itself. Um, you know, I, I come to fight every single time. Um, I think, uh, you know, any opponent that's willing to meet me in the center of the cage and, and willing to tra trade leather is a, a good fight. Um, I think that's what I have standing in front of me right here. Um, and I think uh, MFC 38 is going to be one of the most explosive cards by far. Yeah, I'm, I'm equally as excited. And, uh, and I think the fans, uh, actions speak louder than words. And they've, uh, they know who uh, Anthony and I are. And they uh, know our actions will speak loud on uh, Friday night. And uh, I have respect for anybody I face too that gets in the ring. I can't be mad at a guy with a cross on his back. So I'm ready to rock. A lot of people say that you're undeserving this shot. Burchak had to, he was in a war against uh, Benoit to get this title shot and you just kind of walked in to get a title shot. What would you say to them? Why do you deserve it? Uh, I deserve it because um, like when I got the call, I didn't hesitate, I took the fight. And uh, I've been in the sport for a while and uh, I'm grinding my way back up to the top and I'm, I'm, my momentum's going. I think the sport's all about momentum. Anthony's momentum is going full speed. My momentum's going full speed. So when those two meet, that's going to be like two semi trucks coming right together. So I think that's, uh, that says enough in itself right there. Anthony, do you think Jones has ever fought anybody like you or the top quality talent like yourself? Uh, I don't think anybody's fought anybody like me. Um, you know, I try to evolve with every fight. Uh, I think uh, Jones has, has fought some tough competition, um, but at the same time, uh, he's never fought the high-level wrestler that I am. Uh, the high-level submission artist that I am, um, you know, and my, my striking's, you know, ever-evolving. I've been training, you know, non-stop Muay Thai with uh, a, a two-time Lumpini world champion, and, uh, you know, my, uh, my striking's definitely going to be put on showcase on Friday. Tito, you said something leading up to the fight saying, I can't get in his head because getting into his head would be like me moving out of a mansion and into a one-bedroom apartment. Can you elaborate to us what well, that means? Well, that's what means? I say with anybody. I don't, I don't worry about getting anybody's head because... The only head that's important is my head. And I want to make sure that that's right. That's what I take care of. Uh, when I look at a fight, when I look at Anthony, he's a tough guy. He's coming up. Like I said, he has momentum. And uh, that's something I'm always aware of. And uh, I respect all my opponents. But when I look at my uh, opponents, I see him as an obstacle. So if I ran into a, a wall that I had to get over, the wall's not going to tell me how to get over the obstacle. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. So that's where I keep my focus. So that's what I meant by it. Burchak talks a lot leading up to fights. He, he likes to sell the fight. Why do you think he trash talks? What, do you think that the trash talking comes out of fear? Or how, how does that play into your world? Well, I, don't, I can't speak for, for him. I don't know why. I mean, I'm a, I'm a psych major. I can say what uh, some people do certain things to compensate, but I don't know. I'm not going to say that about Anthony because he's his own person. That's what he does. We're different the way we approach the fight, but he's him. I'm not going to speak for somebody else. As a psych major, how do you perceive Burchak. Tough guy, tough guy coming up uh, and this is the fight that I want you know this is a uh, Anthony is coming up like say he has momentum going I want a tough fight I don't want to come in here to uh, fight some guy that I'm just gonna that's not gonna bring it he's gonna bring it and that in itself makes it exciting for myself for the fans and it's a good test and that's what I like about the sport I want all the tests I want this fight and I and I'm excited about it being exciting for everybody so Burchak, you just had a, a newborn son. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, what does a loss mean to you if you lose this fight? Losses and wins are eventually the same. You know what I mean? Um, if you look at any loss that I've had in, in, my, in my past uh, as an amateur, I went on a six fight win streak, finishing 90% uh, of those fights. As a professional, I went up to a weight class. Uh, I flew down to Brazil and I fought uh, George Clay, who was 16 and two at the time with the third longest MMA career in history. I'm not afraid to fight anybody. Uh, you know, there, there's no man out there that is uh, greater than me in any way. Um, the thing is, a loss right now would, would propel me even further in my career uh, as much as a win would. You know, I, I learn from my mistakes constantly. Um, and, I, and I think uh, a loss right now would be a minor setback, but at the same time, uh, I'm always, always progressing, uh, continuously evolving, and I think uh, it would eventually catapult me into, into further success. 
For, uh, Jones, I know yesterday we talked a little bit and you really want this fight to be exciting. And I know we, you kind of talked that you don't think Burchak's going to stand with you. Do you think Burchak's scared of your stand-up? I don't like speaking for anybody, but what he's a God, he has a wrestling base. So when you fight anybody and they have a base, you got to expect the base is where you go to. So, I mean, it's, it's only logical. I'm just being smart. I got to be aware of his wrestling base and I respect it. Um, but it is mixed martial arts, so you got to expect anything. And, and it's, that's what I like about it. And that's why I want it to be exciting because it's going to make me see how dynamic can I be? How can I adjust to his wrestling? How can I adjust to Hey, say he's going to bring stand up or Muay Thai. Let's see. And that's, uh, that's excitement about it, you know? I'm looking forward to rocking out, and it's gonna be cool. Do you feel like you're gonna win this fight by knockout? Mm, I like to say it's, a, it's adaptability, whatever goes. Um, if it's on the ground, I'm confident in the ground. If it's uh, on the feet, definitely confident on the feet. So a win is a win, wherever, whichever way it comes, it comes. So, don't really, I don't really look too far ahead. I try to stay in the now right now, you know? So when we get in the cage or in the ring, um, we'll figure it out then, it'll all work out. Burchak, are you are you scared to stand with Tito, or is that something that you're looking forward to do? Does this face look like a face with any fear on it? Um, I think the guy's got tremendous boxing. He comes from a, a great pedigree of boxers uh, out there in Florida. Um, you know, I've never been afraid of any opponent's strength. Um, in fact, uh, I embrace it. Uh, I'll be willing to stand toe to toe with Tito on Friday night, and uh, the best man's going to come out. How do you feel about that? Do you think he's going to stand up with you, or do you think he's just saying that? Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I don't try to play Nostradamus. I try to stay in the moment, you know? I'm, I'm just, if he brings it that way on the feet, I got to adapt, be ready for the feet. If he goes to the wrestling, I have to adapt. Um, mixed martial arts, that's what makes this sport so exciting, you know, because there is no limit to what can happen in there just about, so. So if he keeps it standing, what's going to happen? Mm. Well, keeps it standing, we're going to stand and bang and hopefully give the crowd a good show. That's what I'm looking forward to, so. And have a good time in there. Like, I'm here to have fun. That's what I do. This is what, I love what I do. You know, and I'm, I feel that's a blessing that him and I are doing something that we have passion about. You know, like I said, there's a lot of people in the world that aren't living their dream, aren't doing what they want to do. So, I don't think too far what's going to happen, whatever. I'm just enjoying this moment. I love what I do and when we get in the cage Friday night, I think you're going to see that from both of us. We're going to be live on Access TV. Do you want to give the fans around the world a, a knockout victory, or do you want to just grind this out of decision? Everybody loves a knockout, but then again, everybody loves a war. Then you got people that love submissions. My thing is, I want to test, and I want everybody that night to be excited. You know, this is, when him and I are in there, it's just him and I. People look at it as an individual sport, but you know, when we're doing this, we're artists, and our art is in that ring that night. So hopefully we can pick up, uh, paint a good picture because your art isn't worth crap if the fans don't like it. So hopefully that night, Friday night, Anthony and I can pit, paint a Mona Lisa and give it to the crowd. We're sitting here face to face. You're looking into your opponent's eye hours before the fight. What do you, what do you feel? What, what kind of vibes do you get from being across from Tito right now? What, what kind of action are you gonna be bringing to the table? I mean, I've been trying to read him since uh, the press conference downstairs. Um, you know, the guy's clearly an intellectual. Uh, it, it's kind of, uh, I mean, just to read him overall, I know, I know he's a seasoned veteran and I know he's not going to let any, uh, any sort of mind games, you know, weather his storm or, or anything like that. And I think, um, uh, I think he's here to fight. I think it's going to be a great show Friday night. Do you think that Burchak is coming in here strong or do you feel any weakness coming from him? I know you're a psych major, so. No, I think he's, I think he's strong. I think he's just a strong fighter in general. Um, he has a young fire. You know, it was prospect and I was in that, uh, I remember what it's like to be in the same position. I remember being in Fight Magazine early on in my career, being on, on the streak. And uh, when you have that momentum going, that's not, you can't do any, I can't do anything but respect that. You know, um, you think it's getting to his head a little bit? Hmm. I, I don't want to say, I, I don't know what, what's going on in his head or how he's feeling about it. That's not my job. My job is just supposed to go, go in there Friday and give the fans and MMC a good show. Burchak, you, got, you guys have any closing words to say to each other? Who's going to take this belt home? Of course, I'm going to take it. Hey, man, I'm going to be world champion, and you're not the one to stop me. All right, we'll see Friday night. Okay. We'll see Friday night. Thank you very much, guys. This is Face to Face, MFC 38, October 4th. It's going on. Tito Jones against Anthony Burchak, World Bantamweight Championship. Get ready. <laughs>